by Apple's iPad has been available for about two weeks now, and that's given Consumer Reports the chance to pit the new tablet head-to-head -head against Amazon's own e-reader, the Kindle. So who won? Joining us now, Paul Eng. He is the Consumer Reports Senior Web Editor. Paul, welcome to Bloomberg News. Hi, thank you for having me. Who won? Well, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for an e-book reader, we still think that the Amazon Kindle is one of the best devices out there for just reading books. But if you want to do more than read books, if you want to surf the web, check your email, uh, maybe watch a movie or listen to your tunes, the Apple iPad still reigns, uh, it reigns supreme. What tip, what tip the scales here? I think what tipped the scales for us in terms of uh, e-book capability was that the Kindle has a very nice display. It's designed for reading text. So you can see the text comes out pretty much like text on paper. Yeah. Whereas the iPad, what is really nice is that it's a backlit screen. So yeah. if you want to read in the dark, you can turn on the light and it comes on. And again, you have a very good interface. It looks like a library like you would have at home if you touch a book. Up comes up this wonderful color display, which the Kindle doesn't have. I know somebody who just read that book and really, really? liked it, by the way. Yes. Okay. Well, you Abraham know, this Lincoln, is... Vampire Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> this is what our testers put on, right? Go figure. And um, it has this really cool interface where basically it allows you to scroll as if you were reading a book. So turning pages really is very simple. What, what about the, the so-called e-ink that the Kindle has? You know, you have yes. the backlit screen in, in the case of the iPad, which mm -hmm. obviously you can read in the dark. Right. But you do have supposedly a display that's easier on the eyes. Yes. The Kindle, because it's not backlit and it uses this technology called e-ink, again, these little dots that make up the text are very crisp and clear. So it looks like text on paper. And there's no harsh glare, there's no backlighting that makes you strain your eyes as if you were looking at a computer monitor, which is what you know, essentially the iPad is, is, is basically a computer monitor, a very sharp and small and portable computer monitor, but it allows you to again see color photos and because it's a full powered processor you can do wonderful tricks like this and if you don't like reading it in a full size you tilt it right, and it gets to this well, nice book. We should so. mention by the way that uh, both of these companies are out with earnings yes. this week. Apple's mm -hmm. out with earnings tomorrow, Amazon's out with earnings on Thursday okay. and obviously we're going to get more on sales numbers mm -hmm. uh, for the two devices, early sa sales numbers in the case of iPad. Had. Um, what about, we're talking mostly about reading books so far. Right. What about the newspaper or magazine experience on the devices versus one another? Yes. Well, um, the iPad has some really nice applications for magazines and newspapers. Um, several publishers like Time, um, like the Wall Street Journal, have developed iPad-specific versions so that you can get some really nice uh, representations of Time. Here's Time, for example. Yeah. It looks like Time magazine. Okay. Right? Paul Paul, it looks like we're, we're running out of okay. time here. Thanks a lot for coming thank in uh, to show us the head-to-head -head so comparison much. there. Okay, thank you.